folks. In a week, the leaves have really come out a lot. I'll be able to tell by looking at the Sony images of last week. The lush greenness is massive now. There's a big learning curve wiping out your or a whole day's photos and videos that I've done. <coughs> Fortunately, I did take the other camera. The Sony was very good that day. Didn't play up and did a lot. Did a lot. But in between, I was using the this one. I was practicing with it, practicing walking with it, um, practicing with taking photos. And things like that and it's it's a lovely day it's supposed to cloud over so I've captured this beautiful walk again while the Sun's out it's gorgeous isn't it look at it you will go in with the camera into there pick up the trees it's great isn't it beautiful I've got the charger on now. I have brought Sony, but there's no guarantee Sony will work. But I think now I'm going to try and practice more with this one. It's going. This is going to be a walk of the future more because it's so gorgeous and there's room to breathe. Um, the trees are nicely spaced. They've all got a bit of room. They've all got their own little area. Look at them, look at the green, little oxygen factories, and carbon dioxide of course, but and it's quite a nice walk, it's not like, oh just down, like the little track I did a minute ago, and it's two minutes and it's finished, no you've got a good, if you just walk along like this, you've got a good half an hour of capturing this place all the different greens it's just so gorgeous isn't it and I, I've been walking over here for 10 years if not longer and I've never found I saw this track now I got a feeling while they were doing landscaping it a bit they didn't let people come up here I got a feeling that's why I didn't they were doing a lot of um, landscaping and and everything. Yeah, it's great in that. And the greens have come out even in a week. The leaves have emerged. I mean, I'm glad I've done it today. And I'm going downhill, by the way, which is bonus, isn't it? But I'll tell you, what I pointed out to everyone last week was, although I was coming uphill up here, it, it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel like I was going uphill. It was gradual, it was gentle. It really was, because I mean, if you look at that, that looks quite flat, doesn't it, really? And it's like that all the time. Oh, God, it's so gorgeous. It really is. It's beautiful. There's lots of pathways that you could explore if you wanted to, though. They all join up with other tracks. In a minute, there'll be a little fork, very subtle fork. But that looks like it's fallen over since I was here last. I'll have to, I won't know, because it could be that I missed. I wonder if that did fall. They did warn people about trees falling. It does look very recent, doesn't it? Of course, it's still alive. It's got its roots. I don't know if that was there the other day. I'm sure I would have noticed it. It looks very recent, doesn't it? it looks very recent. 
what I'm saying, in a minute we'll meet a fork, not this one, further down. And we get, and it's subtle. And you have to know which way to go, but it's not this one. Because I can remember wondering what that blue and yellow plastic was. Looks like some sort of water storage container. Over there. I've just got to turn off for a little while, folks, and take some more photos of these gorgeous trees. Then I'm going to come back on again when I get to the next fork. Over go and back out on. Minute. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Be great to see a deer, though. Do you know, this, this, I equate this bit, really, as nearly on a par with um, Holford. The beauty of it and the peace. Reminds me a bit of Holford, this bit. The lovely leaves. Lovely, lovely green leaves. I can see people walking up there. They might not know about this track, you see. It's very subtle. You come down that big main track, and this track's very, very subtle. You wouldn't know it was here, that's why I've missed it for 10 years. Bikers probably aren't allowed. If, I don't know, they might be allowed. I don't know, really. so gorgeous. Yeah, those people, they're the people I saw coming up the bridle path ages ago. I could bump into them yet. Yeah. That's cool now. Oh, you know, I just, I can't get over how, how beautiful this place is. I just can't get over it. The piece, like I said, I equate it almost with... Just look at it. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? There's more to come yet. I was so happy to know it was such a lovely walk. Like you say, if you look there, it looks flat, but you're going uphill. You're going uphill and you don't know it. I knew people would have found this. I remember the family that I saw turning up here. And I didn't think you were allowed at the time. So I probably put it off and then the signs went. So I thought, yeah, I'll go up there and have a look. I'm just going to turn right, off right at that junction it. point. There's an old, I'll just go back up actually to mention it in better detail. Um, I came up here a week or so ago following this track and then I noticed a the track there. And I examined it and I thought, oh, that's a bit rough. You know, I expect. Walkers know it though, and I expect you can follow it and it'll come out further where I'm going to... I bet I'll see the other end of this track a bit later once I've done that bit down there. But what I didn't notice, or if I did I can't remember say, saying about it, there's another track up that way. Now I don't think it's that track. I don't think it's that track I came up. I'm beginning to wonder now, did I come up that one or did I come out of this one? If not, we'll, we'll explore another time, but it could be that I came along here. I don't know. I don't actually know, but I'm going to go down that way. 
No, I don't think so. Well, we've got this, we've now got another track to explore already. Coming out somewhere. Isn't it gorgeous, everyone? I'm so thrilled to be out here. And of course, in the summer, that would be even, that'd be a less boggy to, to explore. I remember that tree, broken tree, and I've written, I remember those logs there. So that's another way. Maybe I just was concentrating that way and didn't look, didn't look round the corner. I can see bluebells right down through there, just as we enter this little coom. There's lots of bluebells down there. See them? Purple haze. I never saw any on the top. Yes, there's lots to explore just here. I mean, it's on my doorstep. If I just get on the, if I just want to come and do row barrow, I can either get off at Sanford all, all the time, or I get that fifty-one. If I get that fifty-one, I'm closer to the hill fort, and hence closer to here as well. And I want to actually try and get out here throughout the summer, well, throughout the year, to take images of it throughout the seasons. Just imagine this covered in snow everyone. Just imagine this covered in snow. And in the autumn when the leaves are falling. So now we know there's another path. All right, and that might be a good one to take us more to the hill fort, for example. Than this one I'm going down now. That one, that one will take us further along. So there's more to explore, everyone. There's more to explore, and I actually think I know where that comes out now. Yeah, it'll come out over another way. Yeah. God, I tell you what. In a week, it's absolutely amazing how the leaves have come out on these trees in a week. They were hardly out, a, um, and the bluebells, look at the bluebells now, compared to a week ago. This will be an extension of last week, and to compensate for the loss of the, Zo the Zodak, the Kodak camera images. I'm allowing Kodak to have full swing on this particular walk because I plan to come here quite a lot. Let's just zoom into those bells a minute. Look at that. I'm going to do is join these small videos together and um, let them flow. But I've got to stop now, take photos over and out. <laughs> 